hello guys welcome to another video so today we are going to learn about uh, loops in python there are two kind of loops while and for so let's begin with uh, while loop so let me declare a variable i equal to one and uh, loop while so in a while after declaring the while you have to write a condition like how many times you want to run this loop so like i less than or equal to 10 and i am going to print value of i and increment i by uh, increment i by 1 okay so uh, what's the error i don't know okay in intendation error uh, okay let me save the code and uh, run it python space run dot pi so as you can see it will print uh, one to nine over here as shown in the code there is a uh, one statement called break which we can use to stop the loop for an example if i equal to equal to five i am going to break the loop so what will be the output it will be one to five as you can see one to five because we print before the break statement so it will print phi then check the condition and it will break the loop so that's the simple while loop there is uh, nothing you have to do you can make a uh, infinite loop by typing uh, tree over here like it will goes and goes on and whenever the condition matches like if i say uh, 20 so it will break at the 20 that's a simple while loop another loop is a uh, for loop but uh, let me make a list to elaborate it so uh, abc then xyz then uh, i think pqr okay that's it now in a for loop you can directly access the element of list by in or you can uh, use a range function so for in like for i in x so what uh, what if will what will be the value of i for this loop it will be abc then xyz and then pqr so print the value of i and uh, as you can see it will print abc xyz and pqr you can do similar thing by using range function but for that you have to pass range 0 to length of x and increment it by one this is a uh, one and a zero is a not a mandatory thing uh, by default it is a zero and one but for understanding i write it over here so okay here you are not able to print it you have to type x of i then and then it will print the element of lift as you can see so that's how you can use a range and in function in python if you remove this as zero it doesn't change anything but if you change this one to two what it will do it will skip element by one so what it will print uh it should be abc and then pqr uh, sorry uh, okay zero to length print x of i okay so as you can see abc then pq r that's how uh, range function uh, range for with range works also you can use a nested for loop like in one for loop declare another for loop for j in the range of 10 so i simply type 10 over here what it means the range is 0 to 10 and increment the element by 1 i am going to print j over here so what it will print it will print 0 to 9 two times for abc and pqr so as you can see 0 to 9 for abc and 0 to 9 for pqr so that's all about a nested for loop also there is a break statement in for loop which you can use there is a pass statement uh, like if uh, i equal to equal to abc sorry abc we can pass this loop so and after that we are going to print the value of x of i so what it will print 
it will print a b c and b okay sorry uh, we are printing here not in if statement so it will going to pass uh, let me tab it and now check so it will uh, if there is a a b c it will pass and it prints nothing and for pqr it check the statement and uh, it will not go into the if statement so it will print nothing so the output will be blank there uh, so i think that's enough for loops hope you understand the concept and if you have any doubt just uh, comment down below and i'll try to solve it do like share and uh, subscribe my channel and i will upload many videos as i can thank you for your support guys